Hello YouTube and fellow campers. Today we're just going to do a quick review on the Lodge uh, Cook It All Dutch Oven. The Lodge Cook It All will be a pizza oven, Dutch oven, skillet or wok, grill or griddle. So the Lodge Cook It All is a Dutch oven that's designed to do many different things. Um, we use regular Dutch ovens all the time. We're a big fan of Dutch ovens and uh, decided to give this a shot. So this allows us to do pizza via actual Dutch oven, a skillet or a wok, a griddle, excuse me, a grill or a griddle. And we're actually gonna try to use it as a pizza oven. And so we got ourselves Totina's party pizzas. So we'll cut to us cooking these party pizzas. We'll uh, make up some charcoal and go ahead and get these warmed up and see how it turns out. Also throughout the evening, we will be using it for some other things. We're gonna do a roast with some potatoes and carrots and different things. So we'll use this for that. And uh, we'll wrap it up at the end and see what we think about the Lodge Cook It All oven. So we'll, we'll so we're gonna go ahead and cook. It's time to cook. Let's cook. Okay, we're gonna open this sucker up. So we got, all right, tips and tricks and guidebook. I'm assuming these handles, assuming the handles are gonna hook on the side of this so we can move it around. And a lot of the stuff, when you get a lodge, it comes pre-seasoned, which is really nice. And then there's the lid. Okay, so you can see the grill marks on the one side, flat on this side, so you can use it as a griddle. Um, and then the shape of this is kind of like a wok. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this, throw our pizzas on that, throw the box out of the way, and put it on like this. So it'll be our pizza oven. We'll put our charcoal here. We'll probably put the majority of the charcoal on top just so it heats from the top and not the bottom. But when this sits down like this, this should sit over the charcoal. Charcoal will be around the bottom here when you cook it like a regular Dutch oven. So this should be pretty cool. I am super excited for this. Then you can put this on top of there, can't you? Oh, you know what? I bet you can. That yeah. makes sense. So then so you the, could put the charcoal, charcoal here and look at the cutouts will allow for air. And then you can put the charcoal around here, set that on and you've got your grill. I really like this thing. This is gonna be fun. So the Lodge Cook It All oven is a 14 inch oven and it recommends, or at least to maintain 350 degrees, it recommends 22 charcoals on top and about nine or 10 charcoals on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and get those going right now. And I wanted to show you a trick for those who like to camp. And if you guys have a camp chef, well, this is this is a camp chef or any kind of cooking stove, it's a lot easier if we to start your charcoal. So we'll go ahead and fill our charcoal here. I've gone ahead and put my charcoal in the volcano. I'm gonna set the volcano on the camp stove just like this with the flames. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these flames up a little higher. Not that high so it blows out. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow for our charcoals to start smoldering and start burning here. So we'll keep an eye on that and we'll show you here as this starts to get hot. Uh, you can already hear it popping and sizzling. So this is a great way to get your briquettes ready for a Dutch oven instead of trying to use lighter fluid. Okay, now our coals are going really good with the burner. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the burner off. We're still gonna let, see if you can see down, there's a lot of heat coming out of there. Now that the coals are going, um, we'll just let them go for just a minute, get a little bit hotter, and then we'll start cooking our pizzas. Ooh. Okay, it looks like our coals are ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create just a little bit of a bed of coals to set the griddle side of it down first. That's what the book recommended, so we'll give it a shot. We're not sure that's gonna work that great, but we'll just go with the recommendations and go from there. Coals can be deceiving. You don't think they put out that much heat, but they really do. And the problem we always have is we always put way more coals than what we need, and we end up burning our food. So we're gonna go with the recommendation though, so. 
and I am by no means an expert at Dutch oven cooking. There's probably some professionals out there looking at me going, what is this guy doing? But I don't really know. All right, let's get a pizza. Fresh out of the bag. Wow, it's square. Let's go ahead and just set that on there. Okay, grab our lid here. So we're gonna go ahead and put 22 of these. Hopefully there's enough room. All right, well that seems like an awful lot of coals for a pizza. But we'll try what it recommends and then if it burns it to a crisp, we'll know. It's part of the process of learning, right? So, all right, well, we'll follow up with this in a few minutes. Go ahead and I'm just gonna set this over here. Anyway, all right, so there's the pizza. So far, we'll go underneath. It looks good and brown. All right. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna cook a couple more, see how it goes. And uh, it's kind of taken longer than I, I think we thought it would take, but it's still all right. So the other thought I had with these frozen ones is maybe thaw them out so they're not frozen. Probably cook a little faster. So we'll go ahead and throw this in on here. You hear that sizzle. If you guys are wondering, this is the Lodge uh, Dutch oven table. So we just got this. It actually works pretty handy. A um, few qualms with it though when I got it. You gotta make sure that the hardware, the screws and stuff holding together are tight because I did have some of them fall out. But after I tightened it up, it's been great. So we're gonna keep using that. All right, we used the Lodge Cook It All for the pizzas, using it as the oven style, and it worked pretty well. A few things that we found out is before you start using it as a pizza oven, uh, preheat the actual pot pan itself. Maybe put it on the burner or something real quick to get it warm so the coals don't have to heat the cast iron and then start cooking the pizza. So the first one took a little while to get going and once it got warm, after that we were able to cook several more little pizzas and it worked great. So what we're gonna do now is, and now it's dinner time. So we're gonna cook up some roast here, but we're gonna put it in the cook it all here. Now we, we flipped it upside down and we're gonna use it to, to uh, sear the pork, to sear in the flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in here. Get that going. Throw our meat in. Ooh, okay. Get that going around. Get that into our flavor. A little bit more salt. Pepper. Paprika. A little bit of garlic. And that's some onion powder. Ooh, a lot of onion powder. A lot of onion powder. Get all the sides seared. So, works pretty good for a Dutch oven because I like how big it is, but yet it's not so deep. So for cooking with the meat, this is actually turning out pretty nice. All right, what do you think? Looking pretty seared? It's looking good. All right. Okay, well we're gonna cut up the potatoes and add the carrots. Now we got the meat seared, we're gonna go ahead and add our cream of mushroom. In there, that looks lovely. Put our water in here. We want a fair amount because we're gonna put potatoes in, so let's see, roughly about two or three cups of water there. And I am not a chef. So we'll get this stuff mixed in here. Go ahead and slide our potatoes in. Let's see how this all fits. Let's see what here it's in. Okay, and then we are gonna actually add chicken bouillon to this now. We got this point. Okay, so we figure we got about three cups of water in here, so we're gonna go ahead and add about three teaspoons of bouillon to that. Parsley flakes here. We are actually going to throw a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in. Let's get a little bit. What do you think? Ready to close her up? It looks good, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get the coals rolling and get this on the coals and get it cooking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this on. We're going to put the griddle side down and uh, we're going to go ahead and build our bed of coals. Should be good. So we'll see how this goes and uh, we'll enjoy eating it while you watch.
All right, let's check this out. Should be about done. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, smells so good. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. This is good. I wish you guys could smell through the camera. Oh yeah, it's so good. Well, as far as my impressions with the cook it all, it's uh, it works pretty good. I actually really like it. I mean, obviously, right here you can see a conventional Dutch oven. We've got some uh, peach cobbler in there going on. So size-wise, and this is a lot shallower. You know, as far as cooking, it's it's doing a good job. I'm actually super impressed with it. So we'll keep using it. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did like the video. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel. We do a few videos here and there just on fun things that we think are interesting um, But this is great. So hopefully, you know when you guys are looking at buying one you'll check out this video and uh, It'll help make that decision for you. Anyway, I appreciate your time watching. Thanks